Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain Television with Esther Galoom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, was received by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in the presence of the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Interior Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, during a one day visit to Saudi Arabia at the invitation of King Salman. His Royal Highness conveyed greetings from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to King Salman and his wishes for further prosperity and progress to Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the custodian of the two holy mosques affirmed the special Bahraini-Saudi relations, which are based on a long shared prosperous history and honourable stances of the two countries towards each other and their joint resolve to achieve more development and progress in various fields. His Royal Highness said the deep-rooted relationship between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia represented a bright model at GCC and Arab levels. His Royal Highness the Premier expressed deep pride in the role played by Saudi Arabia under the leadership of King Salman in the GCC, Arab and Islamic arenas. He stressed that Saudi Arabia embodied the strength of the Arab nation, reinforced Arab dignity and pride, responded decisively and firmly to foreign interference in brotherly Yemen and revived hope for a better future for Arabs. He reiterated Bahrain's fully-fledged support to Saudi Arabia in championing Arab and Islamic issues. In honour of His Royal Highness, the custodian of the two holy mosques held a lunch banquet in the presence of the Deputy Premier and Interior Minister, members of the Saudi royal family and senior Saudi officials.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, left Saudi Arabia, heading back to Bahrain after a visit in which he met with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, and discussed with him ways of enhancing the deep rooted brotherly relations between the two countries, in addition to regional and international developments. His Royal Highness was seen off by the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Interior Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, as well as a number of Saudi senior officials and Bahrain's ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness sent a cable of thanks to the custodian of the two holy mosques, in which he hailed the warm welcome of the Saudi leadership, which reflected the strong fraternal ties between the two countries. He also praised King Salman's remarkable efforts in GCC and Arab issues and wished Saudi Arabia further progress and prosperity under its leadership. Earlier, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, arrived in Saudi Arabia at the invitation of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, and was welcomed by the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Interior Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdulaziz al Saud, the Riyadh Governor, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Banda bin Abdulaziz, senior Saudi officials, and Bahrain's ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah al Khalifa. His Royal Highness made a statement expressing his great pleasure at visiting Saudi Arabia, saying the visit would provide a valuable opportunity to meet the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and to hold talks with him on ways of boosting the special Bahraini-Saudi relations, which are based on a long shared prosperous history and joint resolve to achieve more development and progress. He said the talks would also focus on the latest regional, Arab and global developments, which require brotherly countries to work together and exchange ideas in order to adopt a unified stance that protects the interests of countries and the Arab nation and maintain the closely linked regional and global security. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister pointed out that the deep-rooted relationship between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia represents a bright model at GCC and Arab levels. This relationship, he said, and the honourable stances of the two countries towards each other reflect the special nature of those ties, which are constantly supported by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques. His Royal Highness the Premier expressed deep pride in the role played by Saudi Arabia under the leadership of King Salman in the GCC Arab and Islamic arenas. He stressed that Saudi Arabia embodied the strength of the Arab nation, reinforced Arab dignity and pride responded decisively and firmly to foreign interference in brotherly Yemen and revived hope for a better future for Arabs. His Royal Highness the Premier reiterated Bahrain's fully-fledged support to Saudi Arabia in championing Arab and Islamic issues and putting an end to foreign interference in internal Arab affairs and encountering attempts to undermine its efforts to serve Muslims and enhance development, knowledge and prosperity thanks to the leadership of King Salman, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Naif and Deputy Crown, Crown Prince, Second Deputy Premier and Defence Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister wished Saudi Arabia and its leadership further progress and prosperity. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Captain of Bahrain Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, commended the determination and the winning spirit of the Bahraini team, which led to their victory in the World Endurance Championship for Young Riders and Juniors, which was held in Chile. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid praised the team members for their achievements in the World Championship in Chile and recent European com competitions. His Highness said that this impressive achievement reflected the high standard of endurance at international level and expressed his confidence that the team would bring further success for the kingdom. <laughs> 